The Hungarian government pushed through new legislation asking citizens to report activities that go against the Hungarian way of life. In other words, anything that does not conform with the official Hungarian government's narrative on the role of marriage, the traditional family, or their illiberal democracy. The wording in this legislation was withdrawn this Friday, after two months of pressure coming notably from this parliament. But let's reflect on what was at stake. A society based on generalized surveillance where you are encouraged to spy on your neighbors, your colleagues, your friends, and then to denounce them for their personal thoughts or their love life. A new step on the path towards authoritarianism. A society of constant fear, the end of freedom of expression, the end of privacy. This is the world the Hungarian government wants us all to live in. A parallel world inspired by Vladimir Putin, where minority rights are not protected, where rainbow families are unlawful, where the Russian war in Ukraine is not recognized, where European values and the definition of democracy, rule of law and fundamental rights are denied. And where disinformation about what the European Union does is on billboards and in official speeches nearly every day. Should we let the Hungarian government set the agenda of the EU for six months when they themselves say they do not respect what we are and what we stand for? What the EU European Parliament is asking for is only to start the conversation about this crucial issue.